Meeting of the Revere Board of Appeals will now come to order. Roll call. Mr. Pacilli. Present. Yes. Mr. D'Angelo is absent. Uh, Mr. Lopes. Present. present. Mr. Mazzoni. Present. Present. Mr. Pelton. Present. present. Mr. Tucker. Present. Present. Quorum is present. Could I ask that everybody turn off electronic devices, please? The first application before the board is application A1828. This is continued from the meetings of August 29th, September 26th, October 24th. This is the application of Kathy and Henry Segovia, 75 Oxford Street, Revere, requesting a parking variance to enable the appellant to convert a single family dwelling to a two family dwelling on lot 459 at 75 Oxford Street, Revere. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, Joseph Cotogio, One Sprague Street, Revere. Uh, as the uh, clerk had indicated, we have uh, continued this uh, a couple of times, trying to uh, uh, cover or address uh, an issue um, concerning the parking. Uh, the present application uh, has a request for a single parking space variance. We're proposing three spaces uh, where four are required. We did meet on that application. Um, with the uh, ward councilor, he expressed his concerns. Uh, so we sought to address those. Um, we did come up with an alternate proposal which would allow us to put four parking spaces, the required amount, uh, on the site, but would then require a variance for uh, front yard usage. Um, we went back to site plan review. We received their um, denial uh, and have uh, brought forward a new application uh, which we have filed and we believe we're on for the December meeting. With that, uh, we will again meet with the ward council with this new proposal, but we would request that this proposal before you today be allowed to be withdrawn so that the new proposal next month can go forward. Okay, is there a motion on the floor to withdraw? Question before the board is to grant leave to withdraw without prejudice. Mr. Bacilli. Yes, Mr. D'Angelo is absent. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Lopes. Yes, yes. Mr. Mazzoni. Yes, yes. Mr. P Pelton. Yes. yes, Mr. Tucker. Yes, yes. Leave to withdraw without prejudice is granted. Thank you. The next, uh, uh, the new application will be heard on Thursday. This is a Thursday, December twentieth, at. Um, it may be. Uh, The next application before the board is application A1831. This is the application of George and Linda Rosa, 34 Harrington Ave Revere, requesting a height variance to enable the appellant to construct a second story addition on an existing one story accessory structure garage in excess of the maximum height allowed on lots six and part lot seven at 34 Harrington Avenue Revere. Is the applicant present? No applicant present. We'll go on to the next calendar item number. The next application before the board is application A1832. This is a special permit application of Mr. Al Assad's 47 Flint Street Revere requesting a special permit to further modify an existing non conforming structure by constructing a second story addition consisting of two bedrooms and a bathroom and a finished attic on the third floor and a one bedroom, one bedroom and a deck on the first floor. Would the applicant please step up to the microphone, press the button, state your name and address for the record. Kassan al 47 Flint Street, Revere Mass, 02151. Do you have anything to add to the application or? Is does the application speak for itself? 
speaks for itself. Okay. Seeing that this is a public hearing, I have to open it up to anybody proposed. Anybody in favor? Do we have proponents? Anyone in favor? Hearing none, I'll close that side of the hearing. Any opponents? Okay. If you could have a seat, sir. If the opponents wish to speak, they step up to the microphone, state their name and address for the record. Okay, just press that button, please, just one time. There you go. Carol Healy, 51 Flint Street, Revere. Um, I live directly across the street from this structure, and I am concerned about the height of the structure. I am concerned about the extra living space. If it's a three-story building, how many occupants are going to be in this building, and how will it accommodate cars? There's lack of parking now. It does not have a driveway, and there is an issue with parking. Uh, I am also, is this an owner-occupied building? And um, since I am directly across the street, and it is a three-story building, it will be uh, obstructing a view and sunlight from me. That's I know that's a, a, a minor thing probably for a lot of you, but more interested in how many occupants can, are going to be in this three-story building since it's very tight and there is no parking that would accommodate um, anything more than one car, actually. Okay. Is there any other opponents? Mr. Powers but Mr. Powers will come in. We'll allow him to speak. We'll go and get him. Another opponent? Okay. I, I, I the to the rear. Dana, go, oh, can you just step up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record? James Gustafson, 11 Putnam Road. Okay. And I'm, I'm here to find out exactly what he's doing. Okay, so we'll allow him to, pres um, to state what he's doing after. Um, Councillor, did you wish to speak? This is Flint Street. Good afternoon, John Powers, 46 Naponta Street, Revere. Uh, I'm here uh, in my uh, capacity as a uh, city council that represents that area. And uh, I, from what I've seen of the plan, I, uh, it's just uh, too much to be adding into that, uh, that, that one-story building. You know, I, I don't know if there would be any uh, way to, uh, you know, work with, with the uh, residents, could work with the... Uh, Proposed uh, proposal down there to uh, uh, maybe make it a uh, two-story. That, that's up to them. But I, that, the, what's presented here today, I'm definitely opposed to. Okay, Morning. thank you. Thank you. Would the applicant like to get up and explain what actually he's doing with the property? Yeah, I'd like to speak on behalf of the um, applicant. Um, yeah, my name, name address for the record. Yeah, my name is um, Julia Sofori. Okay, do you have a card or anything? Are you an architect or are you a... Yeah, I'm, I'm the design for the uh, project. Okay, so we have your information on here, okay. Um, as you can see, um, the um, existing structure only has uh, uh, one bedroom, a kitchen, and a bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, what we intend to do was to follow the um, the guide the guidance of um, um, the zoning um, in terms of the height and also in terms of the um, um, uh, make the um, the unit uh, still a single family. This is not actually a two family; it's a single family. Um, the the structure itself it's an add-on because um, the way it, it looks now it's it's uh, very tight and um, there's not much we can do to it that's why we added um, the floors there um, I can uh, I, I can understand what the councilman just explained saying that um, um, if that can be a two structure Unfortunately, um, we can still accomplish that. The reason why we uh, went that far is just because of uh, the attic. 
seems to be an open space. And I think that's the reason you see it like that, you know. But um, the, um, the zoning says that um, you can stay within the 31 feet height, and that's what we did. Okay. So it would be 30 feet high based yes. on your plan. Okay. That's what they wanted to know. So, already, thank you. It's calendar item number 1831. Is the applicant present? The applicant's not present. Is there a motion on the floor to continue this application until next month, seeing that the, no one showed up? 1831. There's a motion on the floor to continue till December 20th, um, Thursday, December 20th. Roll call. Question now uh, is to continue this uh, matter until Thursday, December 20th. Mr. Pacilli? Yes. Mr. D'Angelo is absent. Mr. Lopes? Uh, yes. Yes. Mr. Mazzoni? Yes. yes. Mr. Pelton? Yes, Mr. Tucker. Yes. yes. This matter is continued until Thursday, December 20th. Okay, we'll go back to calendar item number 1832 for a vote. I got a question for the. Okay. Who's, who's who here? I'm, He's the owner. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the owner. You're the owner? Yes. All right. And we have a we have a letter here from one of your neighbors from 47 Flint Street, and I don't know if they're here. Are they here? More than one. There's two. Uh, two you know, that's why the letter came. Oh, he couldn't make it. All right, all right. Has any of these been addressed from the past? What's that? Oh, you don't know what it is? You didn't get a copy of this from your neighbor? I did receive. Uh, I mean, what does that mean? in the city? Anything was filed on this? You just had an issue before the phone, right? Both. The neighbor. The neighbor, right? Well, there is a common area between 47 Flint and the Indian guy. There's no common area, sir. If you use that word, there's no common area. There's a road there, but there's not a common area. Yeah, so we clean, clean, clean. I came to the city a couple of times. Complain for the next guy, you know, the one over because he doesn't clean. I guess they came in and they gave him a ticket. Uh, but that's not 47. That's the one next, next to it. Next door. Okay, not 47. The one next to it. They came, they gave him a ticket, didn't work. Went again to the city because I keep cleaning, me and my son. And finally, it's working right now a little bit. But that's not 47. That's that's the guy next to 47. So let me ask you, she's a, he or she is addressing this to you for today. So this is these weren't your violations, you're saying? No. If, if there's a violation, I, I guess the violation should also come from the city, uh, um, like a ticket. Right, that's know. what I'm getting to. Yeah, it doesn't. It, no. it, it, this is just. Uh, some kind of um well it looks like he did prior construction a while ago and there was a problem with a neighbor and that's why this was sent to this hearing i made an addition right i made an addition never had any problem pass all the inspections my house i think is the nicest and i don't like to brag it's the nicest looking house i think in the neighborhood 
Okay. Uh, come and see. I can bring you pictures. Yes, it was messed up before the construction. But after construction, it's... Well, my concern is not, it, not necessarily with the construction you're doing to, today, but if this was a problem in the past, is it going to be a major problem now that you're building on top of your, you know? I never had a problem. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. This street is not his house. What is looking at? If, may, I, may I address? I'm, I'm Leroy Smith, contractor. The guy that worked at his house, previously what you're speaking about. But, but what we're looking at here today, now what, I just, what I'm looking at here belongs, this is his home. The one that we, we are addressing here today is a property that's, is, is, is an, another property, not his property as yet. Well, he's now looking to buy this property and, and he's going through this process. If, if, it's possible, if he should own this, um, get ownership of this property, this is what he would do with it. But what you're looking at here is his house. So it's two different um, owners. buildings, two different owners. Right. My concern is that he had problems with construction in the past, yes. according to this neighbor. Okay. And I, I was the contractor on the job. Now, I, I, I've never seen okay. it, so I, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I that, would just like to see saying. if there's any violations within the but city. It doesn't, it, it doesn't pertain to today's... But it know, doesn't the, pertain to us at all, so we couldn't right. even discuss it um, right. as far as any violations right. for anything like that. The only thing that's in front of us would be of height variance, the parking right. concerns of people, the shadowing of another property due to the height. We can't that, address anything else. The house that I'm by across the street is one bedroom. Sure. So you can be heard. It's, it's one bedroom house. I'm not doing any, like I'm not building a mansion, existent, remove, you know, making it two or three bedroom house. Just adding an addition, nothing, like I'm not extending or. Sir, if you don't consider raising a house three stories as nothing, no, then no, no, you no. better talk to your contractor no, no, behind no, no. you. I, you misunderstand me. I'm not saying, even with, with the three stories, I, you know, I can work with the, you know, I can eliminate, for example, the third story, just the second level, you know what I mean? Two bedrooms on the top. I'm, I'm just saying whatever I can add on would be extra for, you know, for, for space of the house. Right. So even the height, I can go down one level, you know what I mean? Okay, well, what we have presented in front of us today is a three-story structure that you would even, you would even be um, putting rooms up on the third floor. So that's what we're here to, to talk about. If you can, if you'd like to speak, John, go right ahead. You know, giving the, uh, the city today uh, the congestion, et cetera, in the city on our roads and highways, uh, there's no parking down there on that property. It's a very congested street, Flint Street. I was down there uh, earlier today looking at it. And uh, I, I just don't, you know, my own opinion is we don't, I, don't, I don't think we should be adding more bedrooms to these units. Uh, and. Uh, creating uh, for more vehicles to be coming into the city. And I know people say, well, there aren't going to be any more vehicles, but I think to experience uh, living in the city, we all know new, vehicle, new more vehicles do come in. And, and that's, a, that's a problem for the, uh, the neighbors that live down there now. And I think you know, if somebody has a, a one-bedroom house or a living room, kitchen, bath, that's fine. But uh, to add uh, two more bedrooms and... Uh, Another bathroom, uh, you, you're going to get full cars down there, no question about it. And I'm actually, I'm opposed to this 100%. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm kind of pushed for time, but go right ahead. Just step up and I'll give you a minute. Do I have to push the button? Um, I certainly don't want to be on bad terms with my neighbor. I wish him well. I just also, my other concern is because this house is, I'm on the corner. And um, my concern with the parking is a fire truck, a large truck, a sanitation truck, they have a hard time making the corner. If this is a three-story uh, building and if, the occupant, if there's going to be 
how many vehicles, where are they going to park, because it is a, you cannot park near the corner. I'm a senior, I'm afraid, I, if I need medical attention, I, I want to make sure a fire truck can get to me. Thank you. That Thank you. Is there any other members wish to speak? I think, you know, whether he builds a two-bedroom or a three-bedroom, you can have a one-bedroom and have five individuals living in that house with five cars. So sometimes the amount of bedrooms that's involved doesn't necessarily mean that each person's going to have a vehicle or two vehicles. You know, that's a different situation. And, you know, in my house, I have two bedrooms. We have five cars because I drive, my wife drives, my kids drive. You know, so nobody can tell me how many cars I can have, and I don't have a driveway. You know, but it's just part of the situation. I mean, it frustrates me that I come home and I can't find a place to park, but because my kids have cars. I mean, my concern is, is this going to be your residence or to rent? Is it a rental unit you're building? I'm sorry. Yes. It, it's for rental? Yes, I can rent it, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. okay, so there's a roll call for a vote. <clears throat> question before the board is to grant the relief requested <clears throat> in the special permit application. Mr. Bacilli? Yes. Yes. Mr. D'Angelo is absent. Mr. Lopes? Yes, no are present. Are... No. Mr. Mazzoni? No. No, Mr. T uh, Mr. Pelton. No, Mr. Tucker. No. No, this is denied. No further business. Uh, we're continuing uh, application A, 1831 Harrington Avenue until Thursday, <clears throat> January 20th at 4 p.m. And we also have uh, A28 uh, re uh, reapplication. So it was denied based on what? Denied based on the height, the parking. It's not harmonious with the neighborhood. Not harmonious with the neighborhood.